YouTube today, an interesting take on Sun using Shifry and Hitmontop. We'll see how this goes. But if you do enjoy the episodes, make sure you leave a like down below and leave a comment down below as it really does help me out. And make sure you try out the rental team because you have two weeks to grab this team before it expires. There is a pacement available in the description down below, however. But otherwise, let's get started and play some games. Are y'all subscribed to the channel? About 50% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. If you would like to see more cool teams this month, make sure you do so. Thank you. All right. Zacian, Landers Varian, the Dragapult, Reggie Eliki, Umbreon, and Incineroar. This is, a, this is a strange combination of Pokemon. Like, I'd expect, like, Umbreon, Reggie Eliki, Incineroar on a Sun team, and then you got, like, the Landers, Dragapult, and Zacian that's just throwing me off here. So, I don't exactly want to go against this team. Probably route on shift free i think yeah at least they probably don't want to bring pult against my shift free which is nice so that's something i do like charizard in the back and maybe mens mens is pretty good because i don't know if i'm dynamaxing shift free or not i think i probably dynamax mens in this matchup more just because i feel like deal like i feel like i'm probably clicking icy wind over anything else and trying to get big damage off of my grout on so uh, we'll see here. My goal is to try and get like heat wave stuff with Charizard as an end game. There are a few things that I have to do in order to work around that. Of course, there is the Eliki, which is a pain. And then there's obviously, I really want to bring him on top. I really want to bring him on top against the Umbreon, which is difficult, but don't think I could really fit around it. I'm going to have to probably brute force it with Charizard, hopefully, and Groudon being the choice Bandit Precipice Blade set. So let's find out together what they are going to bring it's going to be the lander's dragapult okay this is a really weird lead <laughs> i mean really weird because i'm not sure like why you led the dragapult i guess i'll dynamax my shit tree huh i don't see what else to, i have a play for so you know what i'm gonna dynamax shit tree and uh Who's Dynamaxing on their side is the right question, because I have no clue. I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm going to go for the Max Darkness into the Dragapult slot, and I think I'm going to go for a switch to my... Okay, they swap out the Dragapult. Okay, into Ensign. So they got a bait here. I wonder if Dynamax Shifter can even live in Airstream with <laughs> Intimidate. I guess we're about to find out together. But it's not terrible of a situation, I guess. I am able to get a Max Darkness off into both of these Pokemon, and if the Landis isn't a Salt Vest, Hailstorm... Might catch them by surprise. We'll figure it out. We have our Salamence here, though. With the Intimidate. Is Landris Dynamaxing? That's the big question. We will Dynamax... If they... If they Swords Dance, I, I guess it's a similar situation. We'll find out, though. We get to bring out our Shiftry here. Last Pokemon has to be... Wait. Last Pokemon probably is Sean, I'd imagine. Unless they decide not to bring it, which can make sense here. Let's see. All right, they don't Dynamax the Landers at all. All right, so Darkness is going to come out into the Incineroar. Actually, that did some really solid damage. That actually did some very solid damage. Uh, special Defense drop on both of these Pokemon are beautiful. And we're going to see... Swords Dance. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. All right, I'm going to go for a Draco Meteor, actually, into the... Incineroar. That's definitely not Salt Vest. It probably goes down to Draco Meteor. And you know what? Minus one, Landris. Take this Hailstorm. Take this Hailstorm. You are not going to appreciate this Hailstorm. I do not think you do. I know this power is pretty weak because of the fact that it's not really that powerful of a move based off of Icy Wind. But I really want to see if this KOs at minus one because we know it's not a Salt Vest and it would be really fun, I think, in order to do this. So come on, Shiftry. Get the dock out of the Landris. We do see a Dynamax. This should be the Landorus. I don't know what they're expecting this. It's actually funny because this spot is also really bad for them. But if I just had Hydro Pump, if I had Hydro Pump, it would be in so much trouble. Okay, so Landorus comes out. Perfectly fine. Wait, what was there? What What did they leave? They let Dragapult. Okay, I got to be careful about that one. Come on, Hailstorm. Knock out the Landorus. You're at minus one special defense. <laughs> That's even better than I expected. That's even better than I expected. Okay, Landers goes down. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Do we land a Draco? If we land a Draco, we KO. We do land a Draco. Goodbye. Incineroar. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that actually happened. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. All right. So that is pretty stunning of a turn. <laughs> <laughs> they got so mad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think even in my men's at Hydro Pump, for instance, they were in a bad spot. I wonder if Max Darkness KO'd the instant. That instant was so frail. I'm surprised the Darkness did so much. Like, if I had Hydro Pump Ments, I might have clicked it. It might have just KO'd. Oh, wait, no. I there was I wouldn't be able to KO because of no sun. I wonder how much Draco would have done, though. It would have done a lot. A double up, even. I could have just doubled up the landers from Max Darkness Draco Meteor, but they just got blown back. <laughs> if you currently enjoy the content you're watching and want to see more of it, make sure you check out my other YouTube channels, my second YouTube channel, my Eclipse channel, and of course, make sure you follow the action live on my Twitch channel. All links available in the description down below. What is this? Oh, get this out of my sight, Chansey. Goffitel, Shedinja, Blastoise, Talonflame, and Kyogre. What is this team? Oh, man. Okay, him on top for the chance he might help with the close combat, which is nice. Seriously, what is this team? All right, Tapu Koko lead, I think. Tapu Koko plus Shiftry lead, I think, here, actually. Yeah. Route on in the back with him on top. Okay, I don't know what to break down. It could be like Scarf Kyogre just try to set up for the KOs against all my other team. What is this team? <laughs> just what is it? It's got like everything I don't want to ever see on a team. Kyogre, Gavitel, Chansey, and Shedinja. There's so many Pokemon I absolutely just don't like facing. Specifically Chansey and uh, Shedinja. We're going to see the Talonflame Kyogre. Oh, Shedinja and Kyogre. Okay. Okay, it's not Scarf Kyogre. We confirmed that. Unfortunately, I have no idea what item that Shed is, so this is not exactly an easy play here. So I kind of want to Volt Switch out the Kyogre immediately and Dark Pulse to Shed. Because I do... Ooh, I could Hurricane. No, Hurricane's better, right? Is Hurricane better? I get the Confusion Chance, but I could also get the Flinch Chance on the Shed. Oh, uh, this is Ally Switch turn one. I'm not, it's not pretty. But we're going to see the Kyogre Retreat, which is perfectly fine. Chansey probably coming in? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. As I am able to get some chip into the Chansey, which is always beautiful for the close combat. I'm going to go and hit him on top here since there's no point of setting up the sun. We do threaten Sucker Punch. All right. What is this Shedinja going for? It might not have a bug move, but I feel like they run Skitter Smack. We'll find out, I guess. Dark Pulse is going to come out. We can get a flinch chance onto the Shed. If we can get a flinch chance, that's really nice. We do confirm it is Focus Sash on the Shedinja. All right, are you Focus Ash or... I mean, are you Bug Move or not? Okay, just Poltergeist. guys. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, you know what we're going for here? Close Combat Dark Pulse, I think, into the Chansey. Okay, the reason I want to do this is because this is... I, Chansey doesn't run Protect. I think it could be Ally Switch here. The Shed doesn't want to stay in. I think the Shed wants to stay alive so it can ally switch this turn to avoid the close combat plus the uh, dark pulse going into it and then the close combat gets redirected into chancy <laughs> yep <laughs> it had so many logical explanations that i knew that it was going to come out okay beautiful so goodbye shedinja <laughs> oh i'm so glad that paid off I'm so glad they paid off in close combat into the Chansey. This is Expert Bell, baby. Missed the KO. That actually might still be better for me, actually. That might be better for me. Uh, let's see what he went for here. Seismic Toss is perfect. And I mean absolutely perfect right here. So him on top going down, that's fine. Okay. Really good here. Really solid. Okay, we can go out into our Tapu Koko right here. And I don't know what to bring out because if it's Kyogre, I just click Electro up. I think it's probably Talonflame in the back. That's Blastoise. Oh, we're looking so good here. I'm going to click Electro up and I'm going to click Max Overgrow. Yeah, just uh, Electro up, Max Overgrow. We KO the Chansey. We get the speed drop on the Blastoise and then we Overgrow the Blastoise follow up. So 
All right, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm going to destroy whatever the hell this team is. <laughs> okay, let's bring out the shit tree. Big shit tree, boys. Big shit tree. Let's see. Going to be Dynamax or Gigantamax on the Blastoise? Yep. He pretty much had to here, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we KO, but we're going to do a lot of damage. And this is fine. Okay, so the Blastoise is on deck here. Kind of curious if we even pick up the Knockout. I feel like we have a lot of things on our side, but let's see. I could have also Volt Switched, but I don't think that's worth it. Ally Switch does come out. Okay, beautiful. Because it doesn't change anything. Well, it does change if I... Miss. Did I... I know I have very inaccurate moves in general. I I, I acknowledge that. But really? It doesn't even have a minimize on it. God dang it. Uh, that's... Can I win? Maybe. Actually, I could still win. I could still very much win. This should be into Top of Coco. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. So... What is the Kyra speed stat? We have never asked ourselves this question. So, Grassy Terrain's up. That means Overgrow is going to do a massive amount of damage upcoming. I'm going to get a big Precipice Blaze off in the Kyra most likely because I max speed. If this is a speed tie, this is so awkward. But let's see. I kind of doubt we're speed tying here. I'm faster than the Kyogre. I swear, if this is max speed Kyogre and it just wastes the speed time water spouts, I'm going to flip. But it shouldn't be, I'm pretty sure. So I think I can click Presbyterian Blades, do a ton of damage right here. And then I could probably finish up the Blastoise here with the Overgrow. I think I have to target the Blastoise too because Hailstorm's a really big threat here. So let's see. It's a max guard mind game too, but it's not really much we can do here. Big Presbyterian Blades, Choice Banded, good damage to both. And I'm faster with the shit tree than both Pokemon. Okay, so I'm still going to get an overgrow here, it looks like. Okay, a shit KO Blastoise. It does. Is shit tree going to save the game? Are, what are you going for, Kyogre? Are you going for Origin Pulse? Are you going for Ice Beam? Who are you targeting? Who are you targeting? Oh, man. Let's see. Goes for Skull. That's completely fine. Okay, this game, unless it's a speed tie, should be a wrap here. It's a crit on Groudon, doesn't matter. Groudon goes down. Take the cannade damage. All right. I've won two speed interactions so far. The grassy terrain and other things. So really unlikely that this is a speed tie. And it really shouldn't be a speed tie because what kind of EV spread is that? <laughs> speed time with base 80s. All right. Here comes a max overgrow. Into Kyogre. It did protect us fine. Doesn't change anything. Overgrow going to come out and shift tree. Oh... The ally switch read, the double electro abyss, and then this situation. Ooh, it feels good, man. It feels good. All right. Get out of here, Chansey, Shedinja. Uh, oh, I don't like those Pokemon. <laughs> I don't. Beating them, so satisfying here. But yeah, Shitri able to do amazing work. I think the ally switch read is what got me into a good position. And yeah, it just did like i think the ally switch read it made a lot of logical sense which is why i thought my opponents had the high odds of just clicking it right there because they get out so much on a standard level but luckily i know i've played too many chances i played too many shedinjas they have ally switch specific shedinja and since i saw there was no bug type move on the uh, shedinja i was like very confident that would be because uh, you would probably go for x's or like probably scare smack is probably the move You'd go for the shift read there if you have it. So I like basically had to assume, I think at that point that he had ally switch and not like three attacks on the Shedinja and protect. So I think it was a very fair play for me regardless. And even if they didn't ally switch, I think just getting the knockout on Chansey would have been huge. So yeah, very nice. All right, we have Andrew. Interesting. We got NDD, was that NDD plus Hatterene? I don't know why I couldn't think of anything. NDD Hatterene plus the... Venusaur, Torkoal, Calyrex, and Amoongus. It's an interesting take because this is just hard trick room, but lead-wise, it's really important. Lead-wise, it's really important. I'm going to leave Charizard Venusaur here. And yeah, we're just going to go on for hyper offense. That's all we really do here. So 
I'm going to bring Shiftry, and I think I bring Tapu Coco in the back. I could bring Salamence. Salamence is not bad here in this matchup. Yeah, I could bring Salamence. I think Salamence is decent here. I won't need it for Intimidate purposes, but I think it's probably better than Tapu Coco. I set up the terrain, which doesn't really change anything because the Pokemon I'm bringing really are just going to be flying other than Groudon. And yeah, I mean, power wise, I'm just going to power through with Heatwave Precipice Blade. So that's the goal here. If they lead NDD plus the Venus, if they lead NDD here, they get screwed. <laughs> they get absolutely screwed. I wanted to lead Venusaur plus the uh, Hatterene to try to set up Trick Room. I can see that. I can see that. I think this is my best lead regardless. But we'll find out. Venus or Torkoal leads. Okay. So I'm going to go for Bandit Precipice Blades. And I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. I might as well. Because Heat Wave just does way too much damage to their team. And yeah, I think they might click Sleep Powder. I don't know. It's kind of risky. Because they're risking no Goggles or Lumberry on my Charizard. And that's definitely an item that's run. But I'm just going to go full on power right here. If there's no Entity... Entity, Hatterene Entity. I don't need both of these Pokemon alive. I just need to do some damage. So that's how I play this team. And that's the power we're going for. It actually it sucks because if I let Shifter here, I could just Icy Wind in the Heat Wave and been in a phenomenal spot for the rest of the game. But this is not terrible. We're going to see the Torgo Retreat. Nothing wants to come in. Entity. Okay. So last Pokemon has to be Calyrex. I think they're just going down the Heat Wave Blades, but we'll find out, I guess. Gonna be... Oh, they G-Max? I don't know about this one. I'm pretty sure you're going down to Heat Wave. I think you're gonna lose to Heat Wave Spam. Okay. Venusaur is on deck. They don't have... They don't have anything for this. Yeah, they don't have anything for this. Okay. You can't knock out the Charizard in any fashion. I'm faster than Venusaur because it's slow Venusaur. Wow, that took the Heat Wave better than expected. Wow. They Vine Lash. Okay. My Groudon, that's completely fine. Okay. So the Venusaur was super slow on their team. I'm assuming it's just to ask me Calyrex. So that's why I have a pretty fast Charizard. I go with the max speed investment on Modest. Uh, this Charizard is going to take so much recoil though. Okay, we're going to go on a shift tree here. We're going shift tree here. And we're clicking Icy Wind in the Heat Wave. Yeah, we, we just click Icy Wind in the Heat Wave. If the Venusaur, for some reason, is speed time with my Charizard, I'd rather just get the Icy Wind in the Heat Wave off. There's no reason to max Darkness here. I can max Darkness Heat Wave the following turn, which is what I'm going for. <laughs> so this is the position I love with this team, and that's kind of where this theory came from. Having the Sun up, Shift Tree able to fire off max Darknesses, and then Charizard able to go for Heat Wave. So they protect with NDD, which is completely fine. Icy Wind going to come out. Okay. Into the Venusaur. Uh, maybe I should have maxed Darkness, actually, because knocking out the Entity to Protect would have been nice, because I bet they're trying to get Torkoal in. Hit the Heat Wave, please. Just hit the Heat Wave. Nice. Okay. So we are able to land a Heat Wave on there. We are able to eliminate the Venusaur. So Venusaur is bye-bye. And... Wonder if I knock out the Torkoal if the Max Darkness into Heat Wave. I should have just Max Darkness though, actually. I think um, I didn't really read the Protect and then Torkoal option, which is probably coming out here. No, it's Hatterene. Oh, they didn't bring the Calyrex, which kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna double. I'm gonna go for Max Darkness then in Heat Wave. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is fine. Because if I max Darkness in the Heat Wave, that's so much damage to Hatterene. They probably have to max their Hatterene realistically. And then... Oh no, this could be Smite. We might be playing through Smite. So we Dynamax our Shiftry because we want to max Darkness. So we help out our Charizard. We do... Oh wow. Okay. Not what I expected, but uh... Are you Sash? Max Darkness into the NDD, picks up a knockout. This is a minus one Hatterene. With Heat Wave. Yeah, I should have Max Darkness. That was a that was a really bad call on my part earlier with the Icy Wind. So unnecessary. Alright, we land the Heat Wave. This should KO. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Hatterene. And this is looking like a game that I think I just win. 
Yeah. <laughs> they couldn't even bring the Calyx because of the Charizard. They just did not have a good answer to Charizard, especially with my scarf and their Venusaur was slow. But it ended up working out beautifully here. Is this the last turn of Sun? No, okay. I'm gonna go for Max Darkness in the Heat Wave here. I have a Ments in the back and Ments should be able to win this game at this point, so... They're gonna forfeit here because they can't win. Oh, wait, they, they maxed... I keep forgetting this with Max, but they maxed their Venusaur earlier, so they couldn't max the Hatterene at all, so they had to just eat that. Okay, no, I was completely fine. <laughs> I was completely fine. I should have still Max Darkness, though, because it could have been Sash. If it was Sash, that would have been bad. All right. So it was Focus Sash Indity? Yeah. The press was played, Heat Wave. Yeah, like, they just didn't have anything for it. They would have had to click Sleep Powder or Charizard immediately. Oh, they don't have Sleep Powder. They're Assault Vest. Okay, I was wondering why the Heat Wave was not doing that much. That explains it, yeah. I just wasn't sure if it was, like, just the Ultra Bulky Venusaur, but, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. And, yeah, they didn't have Sleep Powder as an option, so... They really just did not have an option for Charizard. Scar Charizard just ate their team of shit tree. <laughs> All right, we have him here with the Zacian, Lapras, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Raichu, and Landorus. Okay, what do I want to go here? Hmm. Lapras is a little bit frustrating to deal with because of how good it is against a lot of my team. All right, Groudon's really good against this team. I wonder if they choose a Dynamax Landers or they choose a Dynamax Lapras, because that's going to be a big deal. I kind of want to go Shiftry. I want to get the Sun up, I think. So I do want to lead the, the Shiftry, I think, with Groudon. Or maybe Charizard. They might not expect a Charizard. And I could probably, like, Blast Burn something, for instance, turn one, which might not be a bad play. And then have Shiftry in the back, I think, with... I want to say Hitmontop. Hitmontop's probably really good for here. Yeah. I like Hitmontop because of the fact that Triple Axel is really good against my opponent's team. We'll see how this goes, though. This definitely is scary. I don't... The Feeny is throwing me off on the on this team because Feeny plus Lapras is just going to come down to what Max Mod did they choose here. But they don't want to fake out a Charizard, so... <laughs> and that's kind of the scary thing. Okay, it's Lapras Zacian lead. Okay, beautiful. Oh, this is amazing for me, actually. I, I can click Blast Burn into the Lapras slot and just click Choice Band and Presbus Blades and do so much damage here. Of course, there is a Landers I could swap in, but I think it's fine because if they brought Lapras, they're most likely one inclined to Dynamax the Lapras. So we're going to go for Presbus Blades here and we're going to go for a... Do I have to Blast Burn? I want to Blast Burn because I actually have no idea how much damage Blast Burn will actually do to Lapras. And if, like, Incineroar comes in for the Intimidate or, like, Landers as well, I'd rather just get a very powerful Blast Burn off. So, let's find out. Might as well just stretch in the big Blast Burn damage. We are going to see the Zacian Retreat. Don't know which Pokemon's being brought out here. It is the Top of Fini. Okay. Choice Banded uh, Precipice Blade is going to do so much damage to you. I might actually just sweep here with the Charizard plus Groudon at this point. Yeah. I mean, what's your last Pokemon, too? They do Dynamax the Lapras. Oh, this might not end well for you, but of course I am using some inaccurate moves. Hopefully I at least land a Blast Burn if I don't land the Precipice Blades. All right. So, because that's going to probably do the most damage here. We're going to see the Lapras Dynamax here, and uh, we'll find out. Going to be Blast Burn into the Lapras. Big damage. Absolutely big damage. And yeah, I think Heat Wave uh, wouldn't have picked up the knockout with the Choice Manifest with Blades. I got the Lapras immediately. Immediately goes down. And <laughs> Scar Charizard actually just goes insane in the format because most of them just expo expect like a GMX Charizard item, Life Orb, Conberry, Safety Goggles. But Choice Scar Charizard needs to be respected because... Yeah, it's just something so hard, I think, to deal with in the best of one situation. Although you are probably expecting not Scar Charizard, but Scar Charizard, so threatening. It's absolutely insane. With this Blast Burn, like, look at how much damage I did. It Oko summoned a Dynamax Pokemon immediately. So we're just going to go for a, a recharge here and the Precipice Blades because they need to target the Charizard or I Blast Burn the following turn. They. Go for the Behemoth Blade and the Groudon, which shouldn't KO. Yep, Groudon's natural defense is good here. And if I hit both blades, I just KO both Pokemon. And yeah, that's... Goodbye! 
And that's kind of the thing about this team. It's all about power. Trying to pick up early knockouts as quick as possible. And this is how you accomplish it. I won't even have to bring out the shit tree at this rate, but because I'm pretty sure Blastburn is going to Oko whatever in the back. Unless it's Incineroar, but if it's Incineroar, I mean, I could max Quake with Groudon to win. I have so many ways to win it. And it's Landers. Okay. So I can just blast burn the Landers. I also have Hailstorm Shiftry in the back just in case. So uh, we are going to go out and hit on top here for the Charizard or no, for the Groudon and click blast burn. <laughs> and this was a really quick two turn game. Not much to say. All powered. And that's the thing about this team. Power through your opponents really quickly so they can't recover. And that is the show. Oh, Shift Tree, fantastic job. But if you do want to try out the Shift Tree team, you have two weeks to grab it with this rental code before it expires. But there is a pacement available in the description down below. And make sure you leave a like down below, leave a comment down below if you love the Shift Tree action and want to see more of it in the next episode. But otherwise, that is going to be it. Have a great day, people. And until we bow again, I'll catch y'all later.